Thank goodness everyone had their cameras ready to capture these elusive and majestic beasts. People might have never believed without the evidence. From a colony of sea worms that make up one giant entity, to a creature that we'd be lucky to see once a decade. Here are 15 creatures, if not filmed, no one would believe. And it was showing us clear evidence that it wasn't acclimating to. <laughs> Number 15. The Cross River Gorilla More commonly known as silverback gorillas, these elusive beasts are found in the African mountains, highlands, and forests. Compared with its western gorilla counterpart, the Cross River Gorilla is drastically smaller in all areas, including the skull, jaw, hands, and feet, which takes away one of the advantages of gorillas in the wild. They're social creatures and eat things like fruits, fauna, and vegetation. Due to their size, they're a common subject of poaching and are extremely endangered. In addition to deforestation, loss of habitat and many predators also played a part in the gorilla's sharp decline over the last 20 years. Though there has been a great effort in eradicating the poaching market, it hasn't stopped accidents where snares and traps set by poachers for other creatures still catch them. And of course, they don't just set them free, it's a free catch after all. If there's money to be made, poachers don't care. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Let's be honest, that is one of the most lifelike looking dragon creatures I've ever seen. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost say it was real. What did you think? What was your first impression of this mythical beast? Drop a line in the comments below with hashtag open discussion. If you guessed real, don't fret. I had to go through the research over and over again myself. The creature is indeed a prop and is used in a famous television series created by Juan Vila Herrero. Look at the detail of this thing. It's incredible. If this dragon alone was a work of art, it'd be enough to catch my intrigue. But the fact is, it's used in a television show. If details like this are present in the creatures, then what else am I missing out on? Don't forget, to be heard, use hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, the white addix. The addix is a mythical subspecies of antelope with the looks to accompany its spiritual allure. Addixes are also known as the white antelopes or screwhorn antelopes for obvious reasons. The sad fact is these gorgeous creatures are critically endangered. There may only be three remaining out in the wild, and that's no joke. Believe it or not, that small number does not necessarily seal their fate to extinction. 2,000 are kept in zoos or on ranches around the world. Some are worshipped, others are protected. Male addicts usually weigh between 220 to 300 pounds, so this is no small animal. Females are slightly lighter. They stand at a massive 37 to 45 inches, and that's only to the shoulder. Depending on the horns, these monsters can stand up to 70 inches. The horns can have anywhere from one to three spiral twists. As you can imagine, as the twist gets more elaborate, the more fantastical the creature appears. It's a real life unicorn. If you've seen one of these gorgeous beasts, you know you're one of the lucky few. Number 13, New Zealand Sea Worm. Seems we're dealing with many unicorns today, this time the unicorn of the sea. Pyrosomes, or sea worms, are exceptional evidence of the advantages of cooperation. While it may look like a giant tentacle from the likes of the Kalulu, it's actually an entire colony of creatures made up of hundreds, even thousands of individual organisms known as zooids. Together, they travel the deep blue as a single gelatinous tube that, to the naked eye, looks like one. Like atoms alone, each zooid is an unimpressive, negligible entity. Together, they're formidable, intimidating force taking on any shape or size. Before you strap on your scuba gear, there is a reason it's called the unicorn of the sea. Only a handful of people on the planet have ever seen one up close, and those are the most dedicated of researchers. Number 12. The Ancient Bird of Picotharts This bird is an incredible creature not to mention strange. The yellow-headed picotharts can be located in the tropical forests along the coast of West Africa. Still, it's a rare opportunity for birders and other experts to see one in person. These ancient birds are incredibly unique globally, sporting many traits only the rarest of creatures exhibit. 
After leaving the nest, both female and male look for a mate. It can prove to be a long process, but once they've chosen, they're mated for life. One of the few creatures in the animal kingdom to exhibit this behavior. Recent DNA analysis has shown that the Picatharde is the direct descendant of a 40-40 million year old creature. That's one of the oldest land species on the planet. They were thought to be extinct and hadn't been seen since the 60s. It wouldn't be until 2003 when a local tour guide of a bird tour spotted some while observing. The only thing he regrets is that he didn't have a tour with him to share the remarkable discovery. I bet it can feel pretty lonely to have been one of the only people in existence to have seen one of the birds. People might give you the stink eye should you start rambling on about some unicorn bird that you spotted. At least, in this case, he got a picture to make his point. Number 11. Last of the Vaquita With fewer than 30 left on Earth, the Vaquita is considered the most endangered marine mammal on the planet. Think about that for a second fewer than 30 before an entire species is eradicated and subjected to legends and history books. Now think about if the human race only had 30 individuals, how would that make you feel? Where the animals are detected acoustically is where we then focus our visual efforts. It's not to say that the vaquita feels anything, but to neglect the truth that animals are social creatures and that they can feel is only making the main problem worse. From illegal fishing to careless fishermen, humans are undoubtedly the most significant impact on these ancient species' longevity. But once again, humanity is forced to step in and correct our past problems to save another magnificent mammal. Combined forces in California, the CERVA, or Committee for the Recovery of the Vaquita, has joined up with Monterey Bay Diving to help locate and stop illegal and careless practices that have played such an impactful role in the diminishing of the vaquita. Even with a daily focused force, the unlawful activity has shown no signs of slowing and the vaquita inches ever closer to leaving planet Earth for good. Number 10. The Ghost Shark Little is known about this elusive shark because it lives so deep underwater, between 1 mile and 1.3 miles under the surface. Other than the footage researchers were lucky enough to capture, we know they exist and how they behave some of the time, but no expert has ever laid hands on one. With that being said, we're subject to resolution and camera angles in which the footage captures these beasts, while researchers can gauge its size, sex, general eating habits from the footage, once it decides to descend into the blackness of the ocean depths, there's nothing we can hope to gain. While they were suspected of living elusively south of the hemisphere, it was 2017 when one was spotted north of the hemisphere. Because of the lack of knowledge on this mysterious creature, experts are unsure if it's a result of warming waters or overall elusiveness. Until more evidence can be collected, the ghost shark will remain just that, a ghost. Number 9. Whip Spiders I just got over my fear of spiders not too long ago. Here comes Mother Nature with a gut punch. These terrifying arachnids aren't actually spiders, so I guess they still got that going for them. Whip spiders, also known as whip scorpions, are actually neither spider nor scorpion. These strange creatures belong to a separate, just as awful arachnid order called amblypagid, meaning blunt rump, a reference to their tailless rump. Before the turn of the century, this terrifying arachnid had yet to make itself known to humans, but once it did, it turned on the science community like never before. It wasn't sporting some new toxin that could save lives or a silk tough enough to stop a bullet. Still, it could change sensorial understanding for robotics and prosthetics. We're talking about being able to feel with robot fingers. Researchers have discovered that more than 150 species engage in curious behaviors, including homing, territorial detection, and tender social interactions, all mediated by a pair of unusual sensory organs. Organs dedicated for extending their senses into an inanimate object like dirt or sticks or trees. Like all arachnids, they have eight legs. Unlike all arachnids, they only walk on six. The front two legs are elongated sensory structures called antenniform legs. These legs, three to four times longer than the others, are covered with different sensory hair types that tie directly into the sensory organ. They always sweep their environment in a whip-like motion. Get the name now? They use their antennae legs the way a blind person uses a walking stick, except that these spiders can smell, taste, hear, and feel these ticks. Something experts don't quite understand yet. Number 8. Black-Footed Ferret 
The endangered black-footed ferret is North America's only native ferret species. Once they ranged across the western plains by the millions. Around the 60s, they were believed to be extinct until a small population was discovered in 1981. Thanks to breeding, some protection policies and reintroduction programs, including work from the famed Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute, black-footed ferrets have gone from near extinct to alive and well. A remarkable example of the human ability to save if enough minds are on the project. They're not out of the water entirely. They're still on the endangered list, but the sharp incline has begun to plateau. There's still more work to be done. Habitat loss and disease threaten the black-footed ferret once more. It entirely depends on the presence of prairie dogs in their colonies for food. And as prairie dogs are eradicated as pests, so are the ferrets as a consequence. Without proper funding, reintroduction sites have closed or fallen in disrepair, making a recovery difficult. Number 7. The Tiger Quoll While most people will never get the chance to see an Australian tiger quoll in the wild, the rare animal has been captured on camera. Researchers set up 90 sites with motion-activated cameras and isolated in urban areas in the hope of getting a glimpse of Australia's biggest marsupial carnivore. In one of the images, a tiger quoll can be seen wandering the bush floor with a native lyre bird in the background, while another climbs a stump. Using chicken wings as bait, nine tiger quolls were lured towards the cameras and captured. They live in rainforest, wet forest, dry forest, and coastal heartland. They were once common throughout Victoria to southeast South Australia, along Queensland, and in Tasmania. They're now extremely rare or extinct in most of their former range. Northern New South Wales is currently the only area where they are still in good numbers, and of course, that area was severely burnt in the 2020 brush fires. These are native marsupial carnivores related to Tasmanian devils. They are some of the largest remaining marsupial carnivores in the world. Number 6. Bobbit Worm The bobbit worm is an animal that you've probably never heard of. That's unfortunate for you because it's one of the most exciting animals on the planet. Now don't worry, we're gonna break down this crazy creature right now. When you hear worms, aggressive, deadly creatures are probably the least concerning attributes. But let me blow your mind real quick. The bobbit worm, aka Eunice Aphrodotoas, is an overly aggressive worm that can grow to be as large as 10 feet. To make matters scarier, they're fast and possess hundreds of sharp teeth. I know you're still thinking worm, but I assure you, if this worm takes a bite of its prey, it often slices them in half. That's no joke, and these worms are nothing to laugh at. Oh, but we're not done with the horror this guy can conflict. Its body is covered with stinging bristles that cause permanent numbness to the area stung. That's right, I said permanent, as in never coming back. These suckers sit in the bottom of the ocean, beneath the sand, and wait for their prey to either walk over or swim close enough to strike. It pops its head up every once in a while to survey the area and whether or not hunting would prove fruitful. If so, they lie in wait for hours, days, and even weeks sometimes before they finally strike. When they do, they kill. Number 5. Sumatran Rhino Whenever I see a rhino on an endangered species list, my heart dies just a little. Intelligent, gentle, and friendly with humans, the rhino is one of the most elegant and impactful creatures on our big green earth. Hunted mainly for its horn, the Sumatran elephant and humans have a cruel and vicious relationship outside of protected parks. Often found dead and decapitated in the wild, poachers and habitat loss are the main significant reasons for this majestic animal's decline. With no signs of slowing on the poacher side of things, it can't get any better. As long as there's a ton of money to make and a poverty level to support the conscience, poaching these majestic animals for rare resources will exist. This humble creature shows no flicker of life, and in the past 20 years alone, humans have eradicated more than 50% of its population, which proves that human intervention into saving these creatures may be already too little too late. A tweaking of mental proactivity must be done before the damage is irreversible to our animal kingdom counterparts. Number 4. Illipica The Illipica is a species of mammal endemic to northwest China. It was discovered in 1983, studied for a little, and never heard of or sighted until 2014. Experts have learned the terrible truth that the pika's population is declining rapidly and likely due to the effects of climate change. 
Considered endangered today, experts suspect that in just five years, it will enter the critical endangered or even extinction. Since 2014, there's yet to be another sighting. It may have already occurred. The thought hurts to think about. It resembles a short-eared rabbit, so its cuteness makes it even harder to fathom. I know cuteness doesn't make it any better, but it makes it more comfortable. Almost nothing is known about the ecology or behavior of this species. It's mostly a diurnal species, meaning active during the day, but may exhibit nocturnal activity if it benefits their local habitat. Only one to two litters are produced each year, contributing to the relatively slow rate in which they can keep up with their annihilation. Like other rock-dwelling pikas, they're incredibly social creatures. However, they rarely utter audible communications. Number 3. Darwin's Fox Foxes are amazing creatures. They're intelligent, sly, gorgeous, and social creatures. Darwin's coloring make it one of the most majestic as well as rare. Named after Charles Darwin, the story goes that Darwin scaled a rocky embankment on the coast of Chiloe Island and discovered that the den of a fox who was staring inquisitively back at him was there. According to Darwin, gazing out with great curiosity at a ship anchored nearby was a small gray fox. Without being said, the fox's curiousness intrigued him. He had heard that foxes were living in the area and the locals claimed they were of a different species from the mainland but knew not which. This was the fox he had come across. So, like he would always do during an expedition, he collected the animal and created records to be used both to confirm its status as a distinct species and to better understand the process of evolution. Without this collection, it may still be a secret to the rest of the world. Number 2. Sayola, the Asian Unicorn The Sayola is the world's rarest land mammal. It's so rare that even the last known successful image capture of the mythical beast was in 2013 and before that, 15 years prior. That means on average we see this gorgeous and rare creature once a decade. Looking much like the antelope that grazes the grasslands of Africa, the Sayola can have a pair of antelope-like horns protruding nearly 20 inches from its head. This creature is so rare and mythical it's been dubbed the Asian unicorn in account of its ability to evade human imaging, capturing and intervention. This creature has eluded humankind so well that its skull was just discovered in 1992. It wasn't spotted alive until 2013. Its image was captured sticking its head out of a secluded mountain home or hole, whatever you decide to name it. And the interesting thing to note is these creatures can't survive in captivity. The first captured Sayola was accomplished in 2010. Scientists weren't able to get very far from their studies. The majestic Sayola died after only a few days of captivity. They've since been no expeditions to try and capture the elusive creature, but instead observe and study the Sayola in its natural habitat as best they can. If only it wasn't so darn hard to even do that. Number 1. Tree Kangaroos Tree kangaroos are absolutely adorable. They're also born in a rather remarkable set of events. After birth, the fetus-like young, called a joey, crawls to a tree inside the mother's pouch, where it will then snuggle up and attach itself for nursing. From here, the majority of the infant's development occurs, remaining in the pouch with his mother for nearly 10 months. That isn't to say that he doesn't poke his head out every once in a while and then say hello just to be adorable, but his feet never hit the ground until 10 months. During this time, the mother will clean her pouch and groom the infant. The display is rather cute. After the infant first leaves the pouch, it does continue to return to the pouch to feed it until it reaches about a year old. After a little more aging and lessons from the mother, this once baby kangaroo is set to go off and claim a piece of this world for themselves and their future offspring. Thank goodness for the advances in imaging on land and underwater, otherwise we may still never know these guys exist. Isn't it wonderful that anybody anywhere can go about discovering an animal these days? As long as they have a smartphone and are smart enough to capture plenty of images and some footage, any one of us can discover a new species. Experts do it on a daily. It will only get more comfortable to do as technology advances and gets into more and more hands. Let me tell you, I'm very excited for when that day may come. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and if you want to get more of our lit content delivered right to your inbox, hit subscribe.